All right, let's make a basic four hole Japanese stab binding. So what I have here is a text block of 12 pages of paper plus a front and back cover. And it's been pre-drilled with four holes along the spine. And what I wanna do is cut the thread that I'm gonna need for a slightly, for a, a somewhat thin book like this. I'm gonna need about four lengths of thread. For a thicker book, you might need five or maybe even six. But four will be enough for this. And by four lengths, I mean the length of the spine. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. I'll go ahead and thread that needle. I'm kind of pushing the thread at the end a little bit flat to fit through the eye of the needle easier. And it's going to be a single strand. I'm not going to double it up. And what I want to do in order to hide the um, thread, I'm going to start on the interior of the text block. So starting at station two, oh, by the way, I'm going to name these stations from station one, station two, station three, and station four. So I'm going to go kind of like around halfway into the text block and go up through station two. And what I want to do is tie the thread inside with a knot. So I'm going to leave about four inches of thread to tie off. I'm just going to tuck it in and out of the way. And I'll lay this back down. And I'm going to go ahead and just stack everything really nicely again. Next step is to go around the spine at station two and then go back up through that same hole again. So wrap around the spine and pull it tight. Now we're going to go up the text block to station three and go down through station three. All right, and now again, we're going to wrap around the spine and go back down through station three again. All right, now we're at the back of the book. Continue traveling along the spine of the book and go up through station four. And you have probably guessed it. We're going to go around the spine and back to station four. So it's just kind of your basic pattern of continuing along the spine and wrapping around the outer edge of the spine as you go. Now before we head back up the spine, we want to add a securing um, thread around the head or the tail of the book. So we're going to go around the head or tail. I guess this would be the head of the book come back up through station four. So you should have a pretty nice square on both sides. And now we're going to start traveling back along the spine to the other end. So we're going to go down through station three. Make sure you pull tight as you go along the way. And then we're going to go back up through station two. And now you should notice that you have about two thirds of the book pretty much completed. Now let's keep traveling along the spine. Go down through station one. Oops. Go down through station one. And I'm sure you know what to do. At this point, what we're gonna do is, well, first I'm gonna give this needle a little more thread. What we're gonna do is wrap around the spine. Pull it tight. And then the last kind of securing piece of thread to finish off that design is to go back into station one. So the front cover looks like this. It's complete binding. The back cover, you'll notice there's still one last step to go. And this is when you go in, but we're not gonna go all the way through because what we wanna do is go in to that center page where we had that thread. I just want to show you, I just found the thread inside. So that's where we're going to tie it off inside. So I'm going to tuck my needle in and I'm just going to kind of find my way 
out with the needle right there to the center of the book. Now this is really just an aesthetic choice. If you wanted to, you could go through the outside of the binding and you could tie the knot on the outside. You would leave a little bit of a knot on the outside. But this is a nice way to kind of uh, secure the knot inside and hide it so that the outside cover is perfectly nice and clean. I'm giving it a little bit of tightening pull on both threads before I tie it, just to make sure that the binding is secure. And what I'm going to do is just a basic square knot right there inside um, the pages, in between the pages. So right over left, through the loop, pull it tight. Oops. Left over right, through the loop, and pull it tight. It can be a little bit floppy and unwieldy at this stage. But pull it nice and tight. And then what you can do is just trim off those excess threads. And can tuck those threads kind of out of the way. And what you have is a nice clean binding on both sides.